Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to save Webflow form submissions directly to Google Sheets automatically. So the idea is that whenever a new form submission happens in Webflow, it will automatically add a new row in Google Sheets. But the issue here is there is no active connection between Webflow and Google Sheets. So that is why we will be using an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that will integrate Webflow and Google Sheets. The best part of using Pabli Connect is a person without any technical background can perform this little integration very easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is a form that I've built in my Webflow account and this is my Google Sheet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some submission in Webflow and we will check the data of that submission will be available in Google Sheets automatically or not. So let us make the submission. So we have a guy called as Tom Cruise. So these are the details. The first name is Tom. The last name is Cruise. This is the email address tomcruise1234 at the rate gmail.com. This is of course the mobile number and this is the address. Let me just submit the form. So the submission has been made. So let's have a look. Yes, we do have the details of Tom Cruise in Google Sheets. We have the first name that is Tom, the last name Cruise, the email address, the address and of course the phone number. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Webflow to Google Sheets? So basically here we are using an integration and automation software called as Pabli Connect that has integrated Webflow and Google Sheets. The best part here is this integration can be done very easily. But before that, before I show you the steps, let me just show you a small perspective how this little integration can be performed. Okay, so this is how the integration is going to work. In the first step, you are going to integrate Pabli Connect to Webflow with the help of the Webhook URL. You're just going to simply paste the Webhook URL from Pabli Connect and paste it into Webflow. After that, you are going to collect the data from Webflow in Pabli Connect. Now in the third and the final step, you are going to create a new row from the data that you have received from Webflow in Pabli Connect. So after you have built this workflow, all you have to do is just sit back and relax. Because whenever a new submission happens in Webflow, automatically a new row will be created in Google Sheets. Awesome. Okay, so to begin the process, in the new tab, just type pabli.com, p-a-b-b-l-y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account. So if I click on sign up for free, I will be brought to the app section of Pabli. This is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Webflow to Google Sheets. Of course, you can give any name according to discretion and simply just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. Now I want to send the data from Webflow. So let me just straight away add Webflow, Webflow it is. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new form submission. Okay, so technically these are the steps we have to follow to integrate Webflow to Google Sheets. Now first we are going to integrate Webflow and Pabli Connect and these are the steps. So first of all, we have to go to uh, the dashboard. Okay, so this is the dashboard and uh, let me just show you the projects I have. So these are the two projects. Oh, I'm sorry. We actually got into the wrong part. Okay, so these are the two projects we have. High Spectacular Project, High Dandy Project. So I'm interested in working with this one. So I've selected it and then you have to go to the project setting. Okay, so this is the project and let me just click on project setting. So I click here and let me just click on project settings. Then what's next? Then we have to click on the integration tab. Okay, so let me just show you the integration tab. So let me click here. Then we have to go to the webhook button and add webhook. Okay, so let me just scroll down and here you will find webhooks. And as you can see, I have already added two webhooks. Now I'm going to create one more webhook for your consideration. Then what's next? Now we have to set the trigger as form submission and enter the webhook URL. So the trigger is form submission and let me just enter the webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL. I have copied it and I'm going to paste it here. So this is the webhook URL. Let me just straight away click on add webhook. So we have uh, created a new webhook. Okay, essentially this means we have an integration between uh, this particular project and Pabli Connect. So what I'm going to do here is let me just uh, click on publish. 
okay publish to a selected domain okay so yeah it has published successfully and let me just go to the form so this is the form so the idea is that i'm going to make one more submission when the form submission is made public connect has to capture the data because public connect is now integrated with webflow okay so let me just add some details so we have a guy called as lucent okay lucent william and this is the email address ford motors 123 gmail.com this is the mobile address mobile phone number and this is the address let me just click okay so as you can see the form submission has been made so let's have a look whether public connect has captured the data because public connect is integrated with this particular form yes as you can see we have the data so we have the first name lucent the last name as william then we have the email as ford motors 123 gmail.com the mobile number and then of course the address so now we are going to send all this data to google sheet now before we send this data to google sheet how about we create one okay so i'm going to create a new google sheet let me click here let me just click on go to google sheets let me just click on the blank okay so what i'm going to do here is first of all i'm just going to add the columns name such as the first name okay then the last name okay the point is i'm just trying to show you everything from scratch that is why so you will have definitely have a better perspective how the integration really works email address and phone number and i'm going to name this as a new data from webflow earlier the form name was earlier the sheet name was webflow data now i have given it as new data from webflow okay interesting so let me go to public connect and let me just in the action window select google sheets because we want to send the data to google sheets that is why google sheets it is now in the action event how about we make it as add new row simply just click on connect we are going with a new connection just click on connect with google sheets okay so now it is asking me to select an account now this particular newly created google sheet that is new data from webflow is present in this account so i have selected it okay so now public connect wants access so before you press continue let me remind you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us authorization is successful and by default it is showing the select spreadsheet as new data from webflow so this is the name new data from webflow now we have the select sheet as sheet one okay this is because there is only one sheet that is sheet one so let's start mapping so we have the first name that is lucent now if you want to understand where this data came from so this is the name lucent okay so i'm just going to click here click here and we have mapped it similarly with the last name we click here we click here and we have mapped it then we have the email address we click here we click here and we have mapped it so easy then we have the address we click here and we have mapped it then we have the phone number we click here we click here and this is the phone number so we have mapped all the details at this point all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send this data to this google sheet let me do that okay so the response is a positive one so let's have a look yes we do have the data so the presence of this data indicates that we have a successful integration between google sheets i'm sorry webflow and google sheets now before you leave let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated webflow to public connect and then you integrated public connect to google sheets so now there's a perfect flow of data between webflow and google sheets awesome so not just these two apps you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with public connect if you have any queries please contact us at admin at the rate public.com also the link of public connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box if you really like this video please comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching